Welcome back to a brand new video. We have some big building projects on our land. Behind me, we start building on our yurt platform. In this about this video, uh, Arend is uh, laying the fundament and his first site is up. So we'll share our journey and how we do that in this video. So come along. We are Simple Living of Grid and in the beginning of 2022, we sold our house and left the Netherlands. After a few months of traveling, we found ourselves a beautiful valley in central Portugal. Just before summer, we moved on our land and we started our off-grid journey. Without much experience, we started to build everything ourselves, learning and growing as we go. Follow our journey living off-grid in central Portugal. Yesterday I spent the day searching our land for nice big stones for the foundation of our platform. I found some really nice big ones. Um, I still have a couple of more in a pile on the other side of our land that I still need to bring down. We go up the hill there, but, but my father my dad has uh, three stones. Three stones is there. I only need to pick up and go down the hill. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Let's go. Let's go, man. Here we go. <laughs> so we are here to pick up these three. The bigger, the better, of course. Although. I have to be able to lift them, of course. Uh, I'm really happy with these two. This one is not my first choice, but I'm taking it with me anyway. And now all the way back down. Yes. Yeah. I think it is Are you gonna try it, Yannick? No. Or do we have to no, do no, it? No, 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 no. My no. job, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And a break already. Yeah, you're doing a good job, man. Oh, thanks, Yannick. You did Done. a good job, man. Yeah, thanks. So right now I'm placing the stones for the foundation of our yurt. So uh, I'm digging them in at least halfway. So of course I marked everything down with sticks and ropes. So these sticks over there, the, this is one of the corners of our octagon shape. And on every line there are gonna be two legs. So this stone is going here and this stone is going over there with the stick on the exact center point. This one's turn, so I've got to dig a hole which is sort of the shape of the stone and then put it in the hole and then make it nice and tight and this is how I want the stone but then over here on its position I'm going to use my post hole digger to dig out a hole which has the shape of this rock That's digging the hole. Now we're going to place the stone. Although the leftover space is filled up with dirt, now it's solid as a rock. The 
So today I placed all the stones of our foundation uh, on the outer circle, so that's nice. The ones in the middle are still to do. Um, now it's time to build the first beams. Before that I first stretched some strings that are uh, completely leveled. Um, it really shows the height difference of the ground I'm, uh, I need to work with. It doesn't look like much, but there's a one meter difference between the highest part of our floor and the lowest part of our floor. So that's, um, it, that's a challenge I need to take into consideration when building the framing of uh, the, our platform. This is my first prototype beam. Every beam is obviously not fully straight, so what you do is you uh, stretch strings again uh, over the top and the side that define center lines and that, the, that are the lines you have to work with. This is going to be my first leg. I'm going to use a mortise and tenon joint, which basically means that in the beam I'm going to cut a hole straight through. Here I'm going to cut some sides so that there's like a block left and they should perfectly fit in, on top of each other. And that's going to give the most structural strength for the yurt platform. I am supposed to be working on the yurt platform, of course, but we also have this side project that is the chicken fence for the new chicken area. Today I ended up making a cool entrance gate to practice my mortise and tenor joints to freshen up that a bit to get a feel for the drilling again it's time to install it and see how it comes together here we go here we go we It fits. Strong. Well, that's it. Woo! Not bad. This is the gate of the chicken house. Do you like it, everybody? This morning I started with the mortise and tennis joint for the yurt platform legs. Tried out two on this first beam, and it went fairly well. There were my first. They took quite the effort, but I. I think I learned quite a bit with these and I have to do a whole lot more. So hopefully I'll be getting quicker at it. The next step is to cut the other part for the leg. So this is going to be my first leg. It's going to be a very short one, but don't mind this bit. Uh, I drew out the tenon that I need for the joint. For my first attempt I will be using the chainsaw to cut all the parts I don't need.
almost an instant fit. Hey, I like it. <laughs> I did a bit of shopping. I got some parts of threaded rod, some nuts and some rings. Uh, I intend to use this to bolt together the main shape of my uh, yurt platform. It's the oct octagon shape. I also got an extra drill bit so I can countersink the rings. What I also got is these metal rods. I will be using these for the footers. I hope I can plunge them in the stones that I have placed on the ground and then on top of that the, the wooden legs of the platform. I also got what's it called some adhesive that I can use to attach the rods into the stone. This is the first time I will assemble the, a part of the overall octagon shape. So this is fairly exciting. Hope it all fits. This is the idea. <laughs> this one here, it's perfect. Perfectly above the stick that I placed. This is going to be jointed with the next part. So this one is perfect. This one is not so perfect. But I'll make it work anyway. So that's cool. That's what you have when you work with natural trees they're all bendy and curvy i have to measure out every beam on its own it's part of the fun and the struggle so uh, yeah i'm very happy with how this is going first side is up i'll be working on the next elements of our youth platform if you like our journey and our projects subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next video so thumbs up <laughs>